Well, it's a cloudy, rainy morning in Scottsdale, Arizona, but uh, it's looking bright inside because Cerberus has been put back together with new parts and it is printing very nicely. First off, let's just take a look at what we got here. That's an Azteeg X3 with Roy's brand new 30 second steppers. These are the these are 30 second stepping stepper drivers and this is a this is one of his standard 16th stepping stepper drivers. So we're getting double the resolution on our X, Y, and Z carriages. I've mounted the filament reel directly below the air tripper Bowden extruder. Let's see if we can focus this thing here. There you go. A little dark, but that's a pretty standard product off of Thingiverse. And we've got three of my Y-style carriages with my newly developed rollers. This and these are black here, obviously. Those are nylon. And those are Delrin over here. Now the filament runs inside the extrusion body there, the T-slot, and it passes down through this little uh, block here. It actually has two idlers inside there. They're Delrin. They're machined. And what it does is it takes the filament from the three stepper drivers that are below the print bed and it uses spectra filament, 65 pound spectra filament wound wound under these little windings here, about 10 windings per and these are grooved so they gri grip the filament very nicely come past the uh, bed stand here turn the corner, go up inside one of them goes past the carriage, up past all of this uh, another idler up here at the top. Basically, it, the filament passes around the top, and this is the adjuster. So this is the tension adjuster for the filament. You push up, you tighten the bolt on the top. That basically pulls the filament tight because the filament winds around and comes back down and attaches inside. Let's see if I can focus that in there. Yeah, right inside there at the back point directly in line with the center line of, of this in here. So both the filaments, top and bottom, are attached right at that center point with a bolt. So in any case, the other side is attached below and it travels down and it, and it makes up the other side of the winding. So as the, as the motor spins, it's basically pulling the carriage up and down on the extrusion. It's very smooth, very quiet, and actually very, very sturdy. So it's working out much better than I had anticipated. Uh, we've got just uh, standard Traxxas 3745s, I think, if memory serves me correctly. Here, these are just RC car parts, and these are bonded to this aluminum rod here with some uh, two-part epoxy, some quick-set epoxy. Um, let's see. Okay, let's look at the base here. So at the bottom of each of these extrusions, this is uh, uh, 1515 light by 8020 that's the name of the company and in order to keep them perfectly parallel to each other and vertical I made these little these little pockets basically they sit flat inside there and then this bar slips slips actually inside the plastic so there's actually a pocket that goes all the way back almost all the way to the back here and then it's held in on either side top and bottom so it, it guides it at a 60 degree angle over to this other side, right there. And then the whole thing is held together with these screws. Now those screws actually go right past the extrusion, So and the, the threads just engage the edge of the extrusion right here. So once you put that in and you put the screw through, it attaches this to this, but it also ties it and holds it onto this, so this won't move around. So there's actually no need uh, to put in the four bolts that I had at the front. I kind of redesigned that. Uh, to make it even easier, um, let's see. Yeah, my new my new files actually. These pieces are old, but I didn't want to have to reprint them. My new pieces actually drop down, and this then becomes the um, uh, the mount 
for the top of this. So everything is basically parallel to it to itself and registered off the top of these uh, on all three sides. These are being reprinted. Those those did not work. I just needed to make the hole a little larger. My screw broke through. Um, let's see. Okay, at the top. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this piece is also a slip piece that just fits in through the top there. Um, yeah, that piece of tape doesn't need to be there. And my new piece here, I didn't reprint these either, but the new piece actually slips inside inside of this area here, so it all it all kind of joins together. And then the the end stop is just bolted directly onto the face of that right there as well. So these this is actually a real early prototype. But it didn't make sense to throw it out because it works exactly the same as the one that I have the STL files available on my GitHub page, which is www.github.com slash GraberCars slash Cerberus, C-E-R-B-E-R-U-S. Yeah, I forgot how to spell that for a second. And so this is what I've just printed. This is did not turn out that great. Especially those top lines. Well, actually, you know what? That didn't, doesn't look so bad. Top layers didn't quite turn out right. This is one of the. This is the second print uh, since I've got the system up and running here. So I haven't quite made my configuration file. Uh, let's see if this will pull off there. Oh. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. So that's 0.1 millimeter layer height, and with a 0.4 millimeter extruder, J hot end extruder, and it doesn't have the settings set properly at this point. But there you have it. That is Cerberus working, and that's the machine right there. 24 inch print height and about a 10 inch print radius at the bottom. So 10, 10 inch round by 24 inches tall print area. Yeah, let's see, there you go. You can look at it sideways. That's pretty nice, working great.